Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with a couple of products that I've steered clear of because sometimes the learning curve is just too steep or they just don't work. And if you know me, you know that I'm talking about uh, false lashes. I love the way that they look, but mm, I'd say maybe an hour to four hours is usually as long as I can take it. But I have some alternatives today and the learning curve was not that steep. So I'm all happy about that part. And as far as going ahead and getting started with what I have on, do you have the Supergoop Glow Oil on today, SPF 50? And then I did go ahead and put the uh, Hard Candy, this is their Glow Serum on with the True Match uh, by L'Oreal. This um, one is in shade C1, so cool one. And let's see, what else did I do? I used a combination of both Incognito by Wet n Wild and also the... Um, Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop. So I have both of these on today. And then as far as um, what else I did on the cheeks, the bronzer is going to be my favorite, and that's the MAC uh, Light Radiant Rosy. So that's what I have on there. Did go ahead and put on a Glam Light Highlighter. It's a Scooby-Doo one. So you get the Creepy Crawlies and then uh, Scoopy and Shaggy, and it's holographic, so it's really kind of fun to sit there and, yeah, look at that. But um, the highlighter I have on is actually, yeah, the top one that shifts to a pink, and so it's really pretty. Uh, the one underneath it, the gold one, actually, and sometimes... They both have gold and pink in them, but this one has more pink, and this one has more gold. And this one down here, down on the bottom, really has a lot of glitter in it, where this one up at the top doesn't seem to have as much glitter in it. So if you're concerned about having glitter on your face, um, this may not be the red highlighter for you, or you could use a glitter glue to go ahead and keep it all sort of contained. And let's see. As uh, first, the rest of the products, I went ahead and used the Moth um, by ELF, one of their new releases, and then I mixed it with Sunset Strip by uh, ColourPop, so I have both of these on as far as the blush today. And as far as uh, going ahead and doing the actual eye look itself, I did go ahead and use the Sky High by Maybelline, both the primer and uh, the and the mascara, and then I also did go ahead and use the Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde. As far as what I actually have on the eye itself, the Lost in Wonderland, and this is a ColourPop palette that was a collab with Disney. And so I went ahead and put the black on the lid, and then I used this pretty duochrome, which goes blue to green, and I put that on top of the black. I did go ahead and use the purple um, in the outer corner, and then this uh, really pretty cranberry uh, right on the brow bone. Put a little bit of the glitter uh, right along the top part of the eye, and I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. So I'm adding a little bit more of the cranberry back in. So there we go with a little bit more cranberry in there. And then I did go ahead and use an Emride eyeliner. And so this is one of their blue eyeliners. And as far as what I did for the uh, false lashes. I used the Kiss. These are the wispy ones. Yeah, I think they're wispy. And they're the Impress No Glue Needed. And um, the learning curve was not that bad. I did go ahead and mess up, let's see, two of these. So they're every wispy is what they're called. And I'm trying to dump them on the ground here. 
Um, so they had come in along in the medium and little clusters. Again, um, I don't really even use these. And I think one of the reasons why this didn't have such a steep learning curve for me uh, was that I can go ahead and use my fingers to go ahead and put them on underneath my uh, regular lashes and then just clamp your fingers together and that'll go ahead and get everything to stick and I found the learning curve to be really easy uh, right now everything feels good it doesn't feel like they're wonky or that they're not sticking or any of that and I have had them on for a little while um, I only put a cluster on each of the outer corners but if you want to wear a fake lash but okay what I think I was saying that with these the learning curve is a lot easier because you can literally um, you can use you know one of these tools and I've never found them all that good um, but you can definitely go ahead and take the lash or the cluster of lashes and it's about a quarter of your lash approximately um, put it up underneath your um, eyelashes and then clamp your fingers together and that will get them to go ahead and stay on and um, if you would rather use this then you can but I think that's what made it easier for me because as you get older going ahead and wearing a full lash gets more difficult because your eye shape isn't the same anymore and so even doing half lashes if it's a big fake lash then cutting it down to half can still be a full size lash for me and so half lashes are even a little bit difficult sometimes um, but I think these are actually going to be a really good alternative and I know that uh, they've been around for you know a couple of months now or probably longer than that but uh, I'm actually really really impressed at this point and I'm liking having the ability just to add a little bit on to you know the the corner over here or they come in medium and long so that you can you could go ahead and do the long on the outside corner and then do the medium you know right um, beside that and for me that would be close to a whole lash I haven't done that today I've only done them in the corner but this is how they're looking and so they're actually sticking on there they were easy to apply the learning curve wasn't that bad I only messed up two of them um, and the next two I got worked really well so I uh, definitely think it's something to go ahead and check out especially if you're older and you still want to go ahead and wear a lash now and then it just becomes more and more difficult the older that you get to get stuff like this to kind of work but um, yeah it's pretty pretty cool and I now I'm wishing that I had actually gone ahead and tried them earlier when they first came out and everybody went ah, over them um, but again these are the kiss ones I got these ones over at Walmart they're available all sorts of places I know that um, Alta got in a whole big thing of them as well um, so yeah this is pretty fun I would um, and they're not that expensive I think I paid about seven dollars or so for this and I I mean you're only going to use them once so you're going to throw them away but to have the option to go ahead and do that is kind of cool and I'm actually really surprised because I really thought that I would be you know in line in the returns department in Walmart and I don't think I will be so these are kind of fun innovation who knew who knew so um yeah, I think that's just about the video of today, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.